Hi guys, this is about the locking mechanism in Hyperland. We have an up-to-date system. We've used Atlix B ISO. That's our advice. Do not start mixing desktops. Stick with Wayland, stick with Atlix B Hyperland and play with it. Clean install again if you want something else, right? Now, topic of the video is locking. Somebody asked something about locking this morning and how do you go by well, solving it yourself? So a workflow video, I have a problem, how can I solve it, where's the information, and so on. So Arclinux has websites. Arclinux uses YouTube as, um, well, a medium where to put the videos. So Hyperlint is documented in Arclinux D, and the D stands for the desktop. So all the desktops have their place, XFCE, the most common, this is where we start in phase one, learn, uh, the learning stages, you check it out, how we see that. These are normal desktops, but then it gets more complicated with tiling window managers and key bindings and all that, and how to do this and that, if you are on Dusk, or if you're on one of those. And then we have a separate one to just keep all the Waylands separate in one place. And here we have Hyperlint. So in Hyperlint, we tell you guys there is a wiki right go follow the link and have a look at the wiki not everything will be explained in our videos and on our websites and so here it is this is a well truly complete way of explaining how Wayland in this case Hyperland on Wayland works so if anything if there's anything out of uh, our scope or not mentioned in our videos and all that, it's gonna be here. So the locking mechanism, that's one thing somebody asked this morning. And how do you go from there? Well, you see here that there's a list already of 31 videos. This is a playlist. Any topic that we've covered is in this playlist. So check it out and see what it all says. And say, okay, that's what I want. Now, if you don't want to do that, you need to know how to search and this morning we've explained on um it was to no it was um telegram we explained the telegram again right how do you search you do not search up here that's the trillions of videos on youtube don't search there see that you find my my face here because then you have the channel and if you have the channel then you say let's not search up here let's search inside the channel just our 3300 videos of Hyperlinks. so here you type the words hyper land lock and then you see is there already something no it's missing and that's what we do if there is something missing we add the video but you search first is there already a video you don't need me because the video is there for the whole world to see Okay, so first do a search here, and then let's dive in. How do we lock our system? Normally we do a super X. We are so accustomed to the Arch Linux logout. I've already made it a little bit personal. There is no hibernate and there is no sleep because I don't use it and I don't want to see it. I've changed the icons, simple, drop down, click, save, boom. Those are the icons I want to see. So when we are on a Wayland environment, in this case Hyperland and Sway, those are the two only developed for now, then we say Arch Linux Logout will not use the locking mechanism because we want to use the locking mechanisms from Wayland. So that it's out of the question that you can lock with our tool, Arch Linux Logout. What's possible? Uh, locking with the applications from Wayland. Sway, Sway Lock, Sway Like, uh, Idle. So what we do, something you can always do on anything, is let's see how, what was installed. Suba, right? And then we see Sway, Sway BG, Sway Idle, Sway Image, Sway Lock, lots of Sway things. And the same applies for Hyperland, Hyper something. Okay, so those are things that you realize they have something to do with the desktop I'm on. The same applies for Plasma and KDE, 
Start with KEE and see what kind of applications you get. Mate, get all the names of Mate XFC. Get everything that we use from XFCE because we do use XFC a lot on many of our um, systems. Even though this is Hyperloop, right? We use the tools. Now, that being said, so workflow thinking, how is the locking mechanism then created? If you watch a few videos, you realize that the configuration is in here, hyper. That's it, dot config hyper. Everything is in here. So basically read everything that's in there. If you wanna change all kind of colors and settings, then you create a folder just with control C, control V, rename it to hypermind, that's my workflow, right? And then I have exactly the same. I make sure that I always have a backup. So compare exactly the same thing. And this is the, the difference, right? I want to explain to you that there is something like a lock system. This is going to check if there is nobody around, sway idle, after some time, lock it. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of locking systems. Since I'm at home and I don't wanna go back to my own computer system and he asks, what's your password? I mean, I don't wanna see that automatically, but it's possible. And all you have to do is always go to this one. These are here for all the Belgian guys, Azerti kind key binding and this is QWERTY key binding. So in the beginning, these two are exactly the same th thing. So if you compare, they're exactly the same. But no, I have a Belgian keyboard. I need to switch. That's the first thing I'll do. Now, where is anything about locking? It can be anywhere here. One tip maybe I'll include as well, sublime text. And I'll kill everything for teaching purposes, right? Drop hyper in there. This is what I mean by read everything. Yeah, you start reading everything. But GPGs and PNGs, right? No, don't read them, don't <laughs> read icons. But start here. This is where it starts to be interesting. What all these scripts, what are they for? So start reading, that's one. Two, where is it? Well, there's an easier way than start reading. RG lock. This is where every ins every single instance where the four letters lock come in is mentioned. So it's mentioned in QWERTY, which is not used. And remember, this is the only one that's being used. We need to switch for key binding. So here it is. Hyperlinted.conf. Clock doesn't work, of course. Clock has nothing to do with lock. So the only thing that stays that's, that's irrelevant is this one. The lock screen is relevant. And the other one that's relevant is the hyperlinked conf. That's it. Well, we could launch Sublime Text again and make a little bit less like this. So scripts is one thing and hyperlink.conf. Control find block. Now change from plain text to Perl if possible. Okay, let's do that again. Sublime text. It's possible, I know it's possible because I just did it. Voila. Perl. It's easier to read. Control find lock find find with lock. So if you set it like this, it used to be like this, right? I don't want lock. So I deleted the words lock timeout, 1200 seconds. How do I know this is seconds? Because you read the, the man pages of all these apps are available on your computer. You don't need internet, it's there. So sway idle, what's all this about? Q, stop. Sway lock, what's this about? Read, Q, stop. So if you 
read all these things, then you can you can start trying out some command, and, and it gets larger and larger. But first, you test a small portion, then a larger portion, and finally you get this long thing. So, this is usual. This is maybe something you'd like. This will block the system after 1,200 seconds, and you'll need to type in your your command. Now, if you want to go right now, because somebody's calling you and you want to lock your computer, you have to look for other instances of lock. Is there something to control alt k execute the scripts directory lock screen? So this one, which says again some coloring and all that, but again sway lock. Lock this and font this and so on and so on basically lock my system with Control alt k or Control alt l want to change things change all you want but remember to make also the backup in the hyper mind there right so scale is great it will fix your system if you've broken something in tiling winner managers because there these guys are critical if there is something missing even a semicolon right things might break but the correct code is always an etc scale and with a scalp, you copy-paste over to your home directory. But never over Hypermine, right? Hypermine is yours. That's it for me. So it's a workflow thing. There can be hundreds of things that uh, you want to know and change. This is how you do things. And of course, uh, again, reference to the wiki. Have a look at it because there is a lot of information available on the Hyperland wiki. Start with a .org and you'll end up here, wiki.hyperland.org. All right, cheers, have fun exploring Hyperland.